Oh, well, hello there, lovers of Amigas. Welcome back to another Amiga video with me, Branco. In this video, I will be installing a 1 meg RAM expansion card and making use of the PCMCIA sockets with a SanDisk compact flash adapter. This just makes life a little easier transferring files from my PC to my Amiga. I've managed to source an original Trapdoor RAM expansion card and it works totally great. But upon closer inspection, I noticed that one of the 104 microfarad ceramic disc capacitors had been damaged. So a quick call to my old man to see if he had a spare capacitor to replace this one with. He did not have the same rated capacitor to use, but as the ceramic disc capacitors are often used as safety capacitors in electromagnetic interference suppression, for now we've replaced it with this 68 microfarad cap. With the repair work now done to the RAM expansion card, we can insert it into the trapdoor bay of the Amiga 600 and give it a little test. As you can see, the RAM expansion card works fine, so let's move on to setting up the PCMCIA card. Mine comes with the floppy disk with two folders on it. Devs and L. All the files within these folders need to be copied into the devs and L directories within Workbench. Once that is done, reboot the Amiga. Go back into the workbench folder and into devs and double click on the CF0 file. This will mount the PCMCIA card. Now install the PCMCIA card with the compact flash card in it and it should pop up like when a floppy disk is inserted. I've done some WHD load games onto my compact flash card from my PC, so now I will extract them using the shell. I named the compact flash card PCMCIA conveniently, and to access it you will need to type cd space PCMCIA colon and then enter. Sorry I made a couple of boo boos there thinking I'm on a PC. Also helps if you write PCMCIA correctly. List is the command used to list all of the files that are on the disk. Using the command line LHA space X space followed by the name of the file of the game that you want to extract, 
This will extract the files into a new folder on the compact flashcard. I discovered files can be extracted from the compact flashcard directly to the internal storage by simply adding the disk name at the end followed by a colon. So here extracting Turrican 3, the command used is LHA space X space Turrican 3 underscore V 1.5 underscore 2633 dot LHA space games colon and then enter. This will extract the LHA files directly to my games disk, saving a little time having to drag and drop folders afterwards. So, let's test out some games.
Unfortunately, not all games worked. Pushover requires the kick 34005.A500 ROM and would not run. UFO Enemy Unknown needs more memory to run as WHD load has to load all of the disk into memory and my 2 meg is clearly not sufficient. This is the same for the Settlers which I did test but it did not screen capture it and it comes up with the same error message as UFO which made me a little bit sad really because I absolutely love the Settlers. Road Rash is another game I was a massive fan of. In fact I pulled a few sick days from school just to be able to play it long enough to get the Diablo if I remember which was one of the best bikes in the game. Good times. It's probably not the best plan to try and play it with a mouse, but what else can you do without a joystick? I don't even remember using one, but I must have done, because most games require one. So a joystick will be going on the list of items for the Amiga, along with some more fast RAM to play some of the larger games.
So folks, after that disappointing endeavour, hopefully in the next video I will have a joystick, some more fast memory, and we'll actually be able to play some games. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and keep loving Amigas.